morning guys, it's Christine from liberatedmind.com and today is day three of Banana Island Week. And this morning I'm having a banana smoothie and I put a few frozen bananas in there just to give it a little uh, smoothie cool flavor. So today all the bananas are ripe so I'm looking forward to eating lots of bananas and we've got a busy day ahead of us. <laughs> They're nice and ripe. Mmm, look at the spots. They taste so good. Mm. Hey guys, so I thought I'd take a little bit of time just to tell you why I eat raw till four and how I got to the place where that was the thing that needed to happen in my life. And um, I have been kind of on a health kick, I've been a health nut my whole life, and I've been trying to maintain a healthy weight and stay fit and healthy. And I was I was realizing after having two kids that the methods that I was using that worked for me before having kids and before my body started to get older and my metabolism started to naturally slow down that I was not successful anymore at eating the high protein, the high um, fat, like good fats kind of diets and um, exercising a lot. So um, I wasn't getting rid of the baby weight that I had put on for my second kid and decided through the help of uh, my husband who showed me the good things that can come about eating a, a high plant-based vegan diet, mostly raw. So I thought, well, what can I lose by trying to eat mostly fruits and vegetables for a week? I mean, isn't that what everybody tells you you need to eat more of? So I've been doing that for about 10 months, and while eating RT4, I finally came to terms with how wrong I had been about carbs and protein and fat. And I always thought that carbs were evil and everyone needed gobs of protein. And I thought there were like these good fats and I could eat as much of these good fats as I craved and they would help me to not be hungry. Um, living that in practice, it, it never it never worked um, the last couple years of, of uh, eating that way. Uh, so eating a high fruit, low fat uh, nutrition plan has, has proven... That that was you know that totally wrong at least for me. I'm not saying this is true for everybody, um, but for my own experience, that definitely was backwards. Um, I I learned that plants are really good for you, even though they're in the carb category. Fruits are good for you, even though they're in the carb category. Our bodies run on carbs. Our bodies run on glucose, and your brain that's the fuel that the the body uses to fuel your brain and all the cells in your body, and um, you don't need that much protein. You don't need that much fat. So feeding your body what it needs, uh, my body responded really, really well to that. So, I mean, it, it, basically you have to understand their complex carbs, eating refined sugars, eating refined starches, that's not going to get you in the place that you want to be. It's got to be a, uh, from a, a whole food, from a plant food, uh, fruit or vegetable. So that's how I got to the place I am, and I'm so thankful for it. Um, next time I'll tell you all the things I noticed that changed, even in that first week, the weight that I lost, and all the good things that happened to me when I switched from eating a normal American diet to eating a plant-based diet. It's dinner time, and it's banana time. <laughs> So I got through four bananas and I just can't eat anymore. So I'm going to put the rest in a smoothie and blend it up. <laughs> 